The Proto-Tibeto-Burman language is the reconstructed ancestor of the Tibeto-Burman languages, the Sino-Tibetan languages except for Chinese. An initial reconstruction was produced by Paul K. Benedict and since refined by James Matasoff. Several other researchers argue that Tibeto-Burman does not constitute a monophyletic group within Sino-Tibetan. Reconstruction is complicated by the immense diversity of the languages, many of which are poorly described, the lack of inflection in most of the languages, and millennia of intense contact with other Sino-Tibetan languages and languages of other families. Only a few subgroups, such as Lolo-Burmese, have been securely reconstructed. Benedict's method, which he dubbed, Teleo-reconstruction was to compare widely separated languages, with a particular emphasis on classical Tibetan, Jingfo, written Burmese, Garo and Mizo. Although the initial consonants of cognates tend to have the same place and manner of articulation, voicing and aspiration is often unpredictable. Matasov attributes this to the effects of prefixes that have been lost and are often unrecoverable. The reconstruction also features alabums. Variant forms of a root postulated to explain inconsistent reflexes in daughter languages. Phonology The phonology of Proto-Tibeto-Burman here is from Matasov's 2003 reconstruction, much of which is based on Benedict's earlier reconstructions. Consonants Proto-Tibetan Burman has at least 23 consonants Matasoff, 2003 Some descendants of Proto-Tibetan Burman, especially the Changjik languages, have developed dozens of sibilant fricatives and affricates. Proto-Tibeto Burman in Matisif's opinion also has many final nasals, stops, and liquids. Vowels in Matisif's reconstruction Proto-Tibeto-Burman vowels can be split into primary and secondary sets. Modern-day Tibeto-Burman languages have anywhere from five vowels written Tibetan and Jingfo to dozens of monophthongs and diphthongs Loloish and Changjik languages Matasoff, 2003 to 157. Matasoff, 2003 also notes that languages which have greatly simplified or eliminated final consonants tend to have more vowels. The open front unrounded vowel asterisk a is by far the most common and stable vowel in Tibeto-Burman languages. Matasoff, 2003, reinterprets diphthongs from Paul Benedict's reconstruction as long vowels. Preservation of stops According to Matasoff, Sino-Tibetan languages go through a series of four stages in which final stops and nasals gradually decay. Matasoff, 2003 to 238 minus 239. The six final stops and nasals: asterisk p, asterisk t, asterisk k, asterisk m, asterisk n, asterisk are all intact. Written Tibetan, Lepcha, Kanauri, Garo, and Cantonese are currently in this stage. One or more final consonants have been reduced or dropped. In Jingfo and Nung, the velars asterisk k are replaced by glottal stops, while in other languages they are completely dropped. In Mandarin Chinese, all final stops are dropped, and asterisk m has merged with asterisk n. All final stops become glottal stops or constrictions, such as creaky voices, and final nasals may be replaced by nasality in the preceding consonant. Languages currently in this stage include modern Burmese and Lahu. There are no glottal or nasal traces of former final consonants left in the syllables. Syntax Proto-Tibeto-Burman was a verb-final subject-object-verb or SOV language. Most modern-day Tibeto-Burman branches also display SOV word order. However, due to syntactic convergence within the mainland Southeast Asia linguistic area, two Tibeto-Burman branches, Karenic and Bai, display SVO verb medial, word order. This syntactic realignment has also occurred in Sinitic, which Scott Delancey 2011, argues to be a result of creolization through intensive language contact and multilingualism during the Zhou dynasty. Morphology Syllable structure 
According to James Matasoff, Proto-Tibeto Burman syllables typically consist of the following structure: Matasoff 2003 to 11-13, P2, P1, C, G, B, smiley face, CF, S, P1, first prefix, optional. P2, second prefix, optional C, initial consonant G, glide, optional V, vowel, optionally lengthened CF, final consonant S, suffix, optional Following types of changes in syllable structure have been attested in Tibeto-Burman languages Matasoff 2003-155 Note, sesquisyllable, otherwise known as a minor syllable, is a word coined by James Matasoff meaning one and a half syllables. The syllable The syllable sesquisyllable The syllable complex monosyllable the syllable simple monosyllable sesquisyllable sesquisyllable the syllable sesquisyllable complex monosyllable sesquisyllable simple monosyllable complex monosyllable complex monosyllable sesquisyllable complex monosyllable simple monosyllable Simple monosyllable Simple monosyllable disyllable level O are the sources of the syllable changes, i.e., reversal of the list above. The syllable from sesquisyllable from simple monosyllable sesquisyllable from disyllable from complex monosyllable complex monosyllable from disyllable from sesquisyllable simple monosyllable from disyllable from sesquisyllable from complex monosyllable verbs According to many authors such as James Bauman, George Van Driem and Scott Delancey, a system of verbal agreement should be reconstructed for Proto-Tibeto-Burman. Verbal agreement has disappeared in Chinese, Tibetan, Lolo-Burmese and most other branches, but was preserved in Kuranti languages in particular. This is a topic of scholarly debate, however, and the existence of a PTB verbal agreement system is disputed by such authors as Randy Lapola. Prefixes. Matasoff postulates the following derivational prefixes. Asterisk s. This prefix is used for the directive, causative, or intensive. It also appears in words for animals and body parts. Asterisk a, asterisk, asterisk, asterisk a, asterisk act. This glottal prefix is used for kinship functions and the third person possessive. Asterisk m. Before verb roots, this prefix signifies inner directed states or actions, such as stativity, intracitivity, durativity, and reflexivity. Before noun roots, it is used as a third person possessive prefix. Asterisk R Before verbs, this prefix is used as a directive. It is also used before a wide variety of semantically unrelated noun roots. Asterisk B this prefix is often used before transitive verbs, and usually marks the past with suffix asterisk s, creating a asterisk bs circumfix and future with a null suffix. Asterisk g This velar prefix has a third-person pronominal function before noun roots. It is also used before a wide variety of semantically unrelated noun roots. Before verb roots, it is used for the present and future tenses. In Proto-Lolo Burmese, the unvoiced velar prefix asterisk k is used commonly used before animal names. Other constructed prefixes include asterisk l and asterisk d. 
Circumfixes Circumfixes have also been reconstructed for Proto-Tibeto-Burman. In written Tibetan, SN and SD are collective circumfixes used in kinship terms, Matasaf 2003-453. Suffixes According to Matasaf, three Proto Tibeto Burman dental suffixes, asterisk n, asterisk t, and asterisk s, are highly widespread, but their semantics are difficult to reconstruct. Matasaf 2003 439. The suffixes asterisk s, asterisk h, and asterisk are often developed into tones in many Tibeto Burman languages, and are thus highly tonogenetically potent. Matasaf 2003-474 Asterisk N, this suffix has a variety of functions, including nominalizing, transitivizing, and collectivizing, or pluralizing. The nominalizing function is attested in Lepsha as M or N and in written Tibetan as N. The transitivizing form is rare, and has only been attested in Kanauri. Finally, the collectivizing pluralizing function is found not only in many modern day Tibeto Burman languages, but also in Old Chinese as well. Asterisk t, this suffix is used as a nominalizer. It occurs in Jingfo as t and written Tibetan as d. Other functions include verbalizing noun roots and making intransitive or stative verbs into transitive or causative ones. Matasaf 2003-457. In other cases, asterisk t appears to have no obvious function. The asterisk t suffix also occurs in Old Chinese, but its semantic function is unclear. Asterisk s, not easily distinguishable from asterisk t, this proto-suffix is preserved in written Tibetan, West Himalayish languages, Cheping, Kukish languages, as, and some Changjik languages. It can serve as a nominalizer, Chang in Tibetan, locative, subordinator, Kukish languages, a stative, inner directed, or middle, meaning Himalayish languages such as Kanauri, and causative Kuranti and Kukish languages. Asterisk K, this velar suffix occurs in the Kukish languages and also in Old Chinese. Its semantic function is still unknown. However, polyblank assigns a distributive sense to the asterisk k suffix, but only in relation to pronominal forms Lipola 2003-26. Asterisk a, this proto-morphy means to go, and can be attached to various roots as a palatal suffix to signify motion away from the deictic center. This fully syllabic proto-morpheme has now been grammaticalized and reduced to palatal opglides in modern-day Tibeto-Burman languages. Asterisk ya, asterisk za, asterisk tsa, asterisk dza, meaning child or little one. This proto-morpheme appears in Tibeto-Burman languages as a palatal suffix, j, and has also been reconstructed in several ways. Its purpose is mainly diminutive. Matasov, 2003, also notes that high front vowels tend to be used for diminutive functions. Asterisk way, asterisk ray, this proto-copula can also appear as a palatal suffix, j, and occurs in roots carrying abstract grammatical meanings, such as articles, pronouns, and deictics, Matasov 2003-487. Vocabulary Among other researchers, Paul K. Benedict and James Matasov have proposed reconstructed vocabulary items for Proto-Tibeto-Burman. Matisse's Proto-Tibeto-Burman reconstruction is by far the most cited, and with his last version published in the final release of the Sino-Tibetan Etymological Dictionary and Thesaurus 2015. Alabums, a term coined by Matasov to mean alternate proto-forms, are marked using. Stable Roots Matasov, 2009, lists 47 stable Tibeto-Burman roots i.e., edema that have cognates widely distributed in branches throughout the family, and their Proto-Tibeto-Burman reconstructions. Body parts, ten words, blood, bone, ear, eye, hair, body, fur, feather, hand, nose, tail, tongue, tooth animals, five words, animal, dog, fish, pig, snake numerals, six words, three, four, five, six, eight, hundred natural objects and units of time, five words, day, of twenty-four hours, fire, moon, smoke, sun, daytime people and habitation, six words, child, son, grandfather, elder brother, house, husband, male, man, person, name plants and ingestibles, 
two words, medicine, juice, paint, poison pronouns, two words, I, first person, thou, second person, verbs, eight words, bitter, die, dream, eat, ill, kill, lick, steal, abstract, three words, copula, negative, negative, imperative, reconstructed branches, proto-language reconstructions for Tibeto-Burman branches include, proto-TGTM, Mazada 1994, list, proto-Tibetic, Turnadra 2014, list, proto-Kuranti, Mikhailovsky 1991, Optinor 2011, Jacques 2017, List 1, List 2, List 3, Proto-West Himalayish, several proto-forms reconstructed by Widmer 2014, 2017, List, Proto-Dura, several proto-forms reconstructed by Shorer 2016, List, Proto-Himalayish, Ancestral Proto-Language of Karanti, Magar, and Kam, Waters 2002, Proto-Kam, Waters 2002, List, Proto-Siangic, Post and Blench 2011, List, Proto-Peroik, Lieberherr 2015, List, Proto-Rusish, BODT and Lieberherr 2015, List, Proto-Tani, Sunday 1993, List, Proto-East Bodish, Heislip 2014, List, Proto-Western Tibetan, Backstrom 1994, Proto-Central Naga, Ao, Brune 2014, List, Proto-Tankulik, Mortensen 2012, List, Proto-Kuki Chin, Vanbuk 2009, List, Proto-Bodo Garo, Joseph and Berling 2006, Wood 2008, List, Proto-Northern Naga, Cognac, French 1983, List, Proto-Luish, Huziwara 2012, Matasoft 2013, List, Proto-Karenic, Jones 1961, Luangthongkam 2013, List, Proto-RMA, Sims 2017, List, Proto-Prinmi, Sims 2017, List, Proto-Ursweet, U2012, List, Proto-Nash, Jacques and Michaud 2011, List, Proto-Lolo-Burmese, Matasoft 2003, List, Proto-Loloish, Bradley 1979, List, Proto-Bai, Wang 2006, List, see also vocabulary lists of mainland Southeast Asian languages, Wiktionary, References Bauman, James, 1975. Pronouns and Pronominal Morphology in Tibeto-Burman. Ph.D. Dissertation, University of California, Berkeley. Benedict, Paul K., 1972, Sino-Tibetan, A Conspectus, PDF, Cambridge University Press, ISBN 978-0-521-08175-7. Delancey, Scott, 2010, Towards a History of Verb Agreement in Tibeto-Burman, Himalayan Linguistics, 9, 1, 1-39. Van Driem, George, 1993. The Proto-Tibeto-Burman Verbal Agreement System. PDF, Bulletin of the School of Oriental and African Studies, 56 292 334, doi, 10.1017 per seconds 0041977 extension 0005528. Handel, Zev, 2008. What is Sino-Tibetan? Snapshot of a field and a language family in flux. Language and Linguistics Compass, 2, 3, 422 441, doi, 10.1111, j, 1749818, extension 2008.00061, x. Matasoff, James A. 2003, Handbook of Proto-Tibeto-Burman, System and Philosophy of Sino-Tibetan Reconstruction, Berkeley, University of California Press, ISBN 978-0-520-09843-5. Thurgood, Graham, Lapola, Randy J., eds. 2003, The Sino-Tibetan Languages, London, Routledge, ISBN 978-0-7007-1129-1. Book Reviews Benedict, 1972 Bodman, Nicholas C., 1975. Review of Benedict, Sino-Tibetan, a Conspectus. Linguistics, 149-89-97. Chong, Kuhn, 1973. Sino-Tibetan, a Conspectus, by Paul K. Benedict. The Journal of Asian Studies, 32, 335-337, doi, 10.2307, 2052364, JSTOR 252364. Koblen, W. South, 1972-73. Sino-Tibetan, a Conspectus. Monumenta Serica, 30-635-642, JSTOR 40725984
Lehman, F. K. Sino-Tibetan, a conspectus by Paul K. Benedict. Language, 51, 1, 215-219, doi, 10.2307, 413,165, JSTOR 413,165. Miller, Roy Andrew, 1974. Sino-Tibetan, Inspection of a Conspectus. Journal of the American Oriental Society, 94, 195-209, doi, 10.2307, 600,891, JSTOR 600,891. Simon, Walter, 1973. Paul K. Benedict, Sino-Tibetan, a conspectus. Bulletin of the School of Oriental and African Studies, 1-173-174, doi, 10.1019, 498438 JSTOR 613148. Sprig, R. K., 1974. Paul K. Benedict. Sino-Tibetan, a conspectus. Asia Major, New Series, 19, 1, 100 106. Matasov, 2003. Hill, Nathan W. Review of Handbook of Proto Tibeto Burman, System and Philosophy of Sino Tibetan Reconstruction. PDF, Languages and Linguistics, 10, 1, 173 195. Sigart, Laurent, 2006. Review, James A. Matasov, 2003, Handbook of Proto-Tibeto-Burman. System and Philosophy of Sino-Tibeto-Burman Reconstruction. Diachronica, 22, 1, 206-223, doi, 10.1075, dia, 23.1.14 SAG. Further reading Shu, Andrew, 2018. Linking the Sino-Tibetan Fallen Leaves. Li, Fang Kui, 1986. James Matasoff and Paul Benedict, A Critique of the Methodology. Linguistics East and West, American Indian, Sino-Tibetan, and Thai. Berkeley, Bancroft Library, University of California. pp. 66-71. Miyaki, Mark, 2014. Why Sino-Tibetan Reconstruction is Not Like Indo-European Reconstruction, Yet. Miyaki, Mark, 2014. Sino-Tibetan Numerals, Evidence for Numerous Vowels? Miyaki, Mark, 2013. Proto-Sino-Tibetan Asterisk TK, J, A, J. Crab. Miyaki, Mark, 2013. No Asterisk K Lu, Cerebral Puzzles in Sino-Tibetan. Miyaki, Mark, 2008. A Bitter Controversy, Sino-Tibetan Uvulars. Miyaki, Mark, 2008. Mung and Sui Evidence for Old Chinese Uvulars? Miyaki, Mark, 2007. Eight Reasons Asterisk Y, Parts 1 to 5, 6. Wu, Anchi Wu and Qi, 2002. Hanzang Yu Tongyan Yanji Yu Han Kang Yu Tong Yuan Yanju. Beijing, Minzu University Press Zhang Yang Min Zhu Da Zhe Chu Banshi. ISBN 7 81056 611 3. This book contains Wu's reconstructions of Proto Sino Tibetan, Proto Tibeto Burman, Proto Hmong Min, and Proto Kra Dai. Closing square bracket.